Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Welcome to Thrifting Is My Beach. I have my first thrift haul and I actually had my baby come 10 days old. I carried her in the Moby Wrap and she was an angel. Okay, so I went to two thrift stores and I'm going to show you what I got. The first one I went to, for some reason I thought it was everything half off sale, but I went and got to the register. It turns out it was only 25% off, but their prices are quite reasonable, so I really didn't mind. Um, the first thrift store I'm going to show you is from my local Goodwill. And even though it's from a rural location, I typically find decent stuff. Um, not like designer or whatever, but decent stuff. So let's get started. The first item, I always love shopping off of the new racks of clothing. And this one definitely has perfume smell to it. But it is a vintage silk Christian Dior robe, floral robe, like a sheer black. The colors are very beautiful. Stunning. Here is the label. It's for Saks Fifth Avenue. I do well selling vintage Christian Dior intimates and sleepwear. I was looking for a size tag down here made in the USA oh I thought it was silk oh it's only polyester that's a well, bummer uh, it's got the Union tag it's probably from the 80s it's a large which is a great size I paid four dollars for this it's got really detailed lace it feels like silk that's crazy it's polyester anyways it is probably like tunic tunic length it's not like a long one unfortunately but um, I'm guessing I could do at least 50 for that. The next I probably should have put back. Um, I know I've told you guys before. I have raised my average sale price significantly. But due to hardly working weeks before and after having a baby, my sales have plummeted on eBay. I typically have more now on Poshmark. <laughs> so um, I pick this up just because my I used to do really well with Victoria's Secret or Victoria's Secret Pink and I really liked the embroidery and it's in like new condition plus the lace up in the front it is quite trendy this is pink Victoria's Secret and this one is a size medium I paid I wouldn't pay much for this I paid two dollars and fifty cents and I think I would list this for twenty dollars I am not sure how I'm going to move forward with my business short term. I'm just trying to um, keep my stores alive, but um, I also need to focus more on seasonal. I'm so majority majority of the stuff I do sell is clothing, and a lot of the times when I do sell stuff, it's like jackets, coats, sweaters, and so. I've got a pivot, and so I went and looked in the bras, intimates, and swimsuit section at this thrift store. I got this based off of style. It's a wet look, faux reptile, rep, snake skin bikini. It is teeny tiny. Um, as you can see, it's got like this cutout, so your under boob would show, if that's what they call it. I don't even know. And then this is a high cut, cheeky bikini bottom I came home and told my husband I showed my husband I was like hey this is my new swimsuit but if you know me you know that it will not fit <laughs> way too small um it's by a brand called damsel the swimsuits do not retail resell for that much online as far as how much I pay for this five I did pay six dollars for the set but because of the style I think I can get 30 for it and I'm trying to shift my store to more seasonal stuff, which I personally don't like, but I gotta try, right? Um, the next is just Lululemon. This is their, oh, what are these tanks called with the bra? It's actually really cute uh, color with the stripes. And then it's kind of the loose fit tank, racer back, back. This one still had Oh, wait, I thought it had the pole thing, but it doesn't. But I did find 
the, did I find the size? I think I did. And it was a, I don't remember. I'll put the size up on the screen, but I didn't pay much for this either because if you know, this style is older and they don't resell for a whole lot, uh, $2.50. So yeah, I couldn't resist. I really like the color. I may possibly even keep it. I'm eager to get back to the gym and gain all my muscle back that I lost. I used to go to the gym all the time and then I got pregnant and um, I got sick. I had like, not gallbladder issues, but it felt like gallbladder issues. Went to the doctor, went to the specialist. And so I stopped going to the gym for that reason and I uh, can't wait to get back into it. So here's the size dot. It's a four. That will not fit me. So Okay. And here's my receipt. So at this Goodwill, I spent a total, my total did come to $22, but as I've mentioned before, they have rewards points and I swear I, I accumulate $10 each time I go. So I got $10 off. So I paid a whole $12.76 for all this. So I'll put my cost of goods per piece up in the corner. This item, I didn't even look up comps. I just went with my gut and my gut is pretty good most of the time. So it is a duvet cover and I kept, I always look for like Pottery Barn or um, some good quality, but I could tell it was good quality. I'm trying to find you guys the tag. So again, I have not looked this up. When I edit this video, I'll look it up, put comps up in the corner. This is the Land of Nod. It's made in India. It is a hundred percent cotton, but what made me get it is I believe it's aimed towards children. It is a map of the United States, but it is very well embroidered. And it shows all the states with little graphics. And like I said, it is very well embroidered. I didn't find loose threads, great condition. Um, and then even over the ocean, it's like in the corners, it's got stars, it's got airplanes, um, eagle, it's just so cute. That was $6, but like I said, I'm dividing, I got one, two, three, four, five, I got five items. So a little over $2 an item, which is great. Okay, so that's what I got at Goodwill. Um, that was my second stop, and like I said, I was 10 days postpartum, and I was pretty crampy. Um, I've been wearing my daughter and my back was aching a little bit and I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have thrifted quite yet. I don't think my body was quite ready, but, um, sorry for the crinkling. I will go ahead and, um, show you what I got at my local honey hole. Everything was 25% off. So I'm going to try to do the math in my head. Um, so I first walk in and I always find good stuff here. Sometimes I don't find a lot. I try to go about once a month to this location and it's funny. I've been a reseller for five years and I just started going to this place about six months ago. <laughs> and I live in a small town. Like I've hit up every thrift store, but this one. So on the other side of town and, um, I didn't even know the name of it, but no, I do. Okay. So this is a shawl. It was hanging in the front. It was priced at $3, but I paid, again, it was 25% off. So I paid like $2.75 for it. This is, at first I thought it was handmade. I do love the style. I will do a Google lens search to find out what type of knit that is. But there is a tag on it. It's right here. I'm going to say 60s or 70s, made in Japan, so 50s, 60s, I don't know, I'm not that great at dating, um, that type of stuff, so I'll just do some research. The second item I found at the thrift was on a mannequin, it's a really pretty color, it's a chiffon, I believe this is silk. And it was simply a formal dress. I do well sending formal dresses in a thread up. And I look on the back of the tag and see it's Tadashi. 
if I recall, I sent in a Tadashi dress before and it sold for like $150. So I'm pretty confident this is a size 4. It's a really pretty color. As long as it doesn't have any, I did look this over. It has deodorant marks, um, and this is probably dry clean only, but what I do is I take a, you can use either nylon pantyhose or what I use is like used dryer sheets, and you simply rub it against the fabric, and it takes the deodorant marks off. So, um, again, I don't know if they count this as a long dress. So their long dresses are $8, which is kind of high for the area. But if it's a shorter dress, it's $5. So I need to look at my receipt and I'll put it up in the corner how much they charged me. It feels like silk, but um, I believe it was to, yeah, it's 100% silk. The lining is not. The lining is polyester, but pretty gown. Um, so I will send this in a thread up. I'm doing well with thread up. I haven't, sorry, my nose is always itching. Um, I haven't been sending as much in lately because I'm not finding as much. But now I have only came across era, this era, like 50s, 60s, found two girdles and they were in my death pile for like a year. I sold one for 50 and the other one's pretty beat up. I've got some watchers on it, but I think it's like 40 or 45. So I don't think this would be called bullet bras. They have a following, but... This style is definitely 50s, 60s, and I found two, three, I found five. I'll get them all out. Probably the same donor. They look to be the same size, same style, pretty much. So here, and they're in immaculate condition. Look at the beautiful lace. And it's got the wider back. Here is the tag. Oh, got it. It's the Valley Flatter Lace. Um, it's a decent size for back in the day. 32D. Small size as far as bust. Um, not cup size, though. So, yeah. Really pretty. Again, it's in great condition. Their bras are $3. They're on sale. Everything was on sale, so I paid whatever 25% off of that is. Um... Here's another one. I think it's exactly the same. Maybe slightly different design of the, on the lace. They're all underwire. Again, 32D. This is the ballet flatter lace as well. I'll put comps up in the corner. I didn't even check comps. I left my phone in the car. So I was just going with my gut. Here is another one. This is a beige color. This one is not as lacy. It just has like the sheer near the top and this one is hopefully my this TV show in the background is not completely drowning out my voice valley flower ball again same size 32d this one is similar to the last one and I'm assuming it's all the same brand no, this one's Warner's. Again, it's a 32D as well. And then this, I think, is the same as another one. And it is the Flower Bali 32D. Um, gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so moving on. I did not check comps. This is probably an older style, and I might have should have passed, especially since this stuff was just 25% off, not half off. Again, I will check my receipt as it's probably at the bottom of the bag. But here I have a women's Hannah Anderson size small brown cardigan, or it's like a it's like a cloth thin jacket, but it has the matching pants. This would be great to travel in. The pants are pull on. I didn't check to see if the pants are the same size. No, they're not. I will have to sell these separately. It's made in Poland. Um, the pants are size large. And the jacket is a size small. So I will definitely sell these separate. Um, I don't know that I've ever sold Hannah Anderson adult. I did come across a cute dress um, at Goodwill. But I did check comps and they were not that great. So I think it's depending on the style. That, 
I'll probably put keywords like neutral, minimalist, modern, um, leisure wear, travel. I don't know. All right, so this is notorious. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I typically buy. It is flocked. It's like, it feels like velvet, but it's not quite, I don't know. Um, it's got metallic paisley, like really pretty emerald green. It's got detailed buttons and brand does not matter. It's a vintage medium, probably a modern small made in the USA. It's an acetate nylon blend. So yeah, I just figured, you know, it was different vintage. Pick that up. Uh, that was probably three and a half dollars. Got some Spanx. I always love finding Spanx. I actually put back a Spanx tank because it was marked at four dollars at Goodwill and they sell for like maybe twenty dollars. Certain styles do better than others. So if you come across Spanx, always look it up. Um, I pass on assets by Spanx because that's their target line. Uh, so again, that's just depends what your business model is, but it's a size large, it's a great size. It's in like new condition. And, uh, again, this was like $2 and some change. What about this? Oh, some vintage shapewear, probably fifties, sixties. This one's not a sexy girdle though. It is a, um, full short alls. I don't even know what you want to call that. It does have the pretty lace right here. It's like a, it's beige, but the lace almost has like a hue of pink to it. And it is, <laughs> the tag cracked me up. Diet Skinny Waist by Smoothie. Funny name. Um, 36D. I guess one thing to note so this thing right here, which I really don't want to touch, um, because you know where it goes, is missing one of the clips on one of the settings, but I will just disclose that. And it's got all the other clips, so I don't think that's a deal breaker. Plus the age, you know, I mean, it's still in really good condition and you can always sew on a clip. Um, for that reason, it's not a deal breaker, but got that. I'm guessing I could probably get like 50 for that. I got a hat for my son. I forgot that was in there. My kids like to play Minecraft. This sweater is so fun. I know we're going out of sweater season as it is mid-March, but I could not pass up an 80s chunky, funky sweater with shoulder pads. So this is like a fuchsia pink with metallic and leather trim accents. Check animal print, fuzzy, I don't even know, it's just got a lot going on for it. I mean, check out these sleeves. Turtleneck. So much going on. It is in great condition. There's no pilling. I don't see any holes or loose threads. It is by Karen Charles Collection. It's just an acrylic blend. I've never heard of that brand, but there's a lot of vintage I've never heard of as my tripod wants to tip over. My calendar is still in the month of February. We'll see how long it takes me to put up March's calendar. This is perfect for spring, total cottage core. Um, chunky, rammy knit, it's probably hand knit, I'm guessing. Knitted by hand. Um, yeah, rammy cotton, it's by Casual Corner, which is a side division for limited edition, I don't know casual corner. Anyways, it's a pale pink floral sweater. It's at the bottom. Ooh, my earrings caught. Has little pearl accents. Yeah, it's just floral. Has this cute little scalloped, almost eyelet trim bottom, and it's a size large, which is a great size. I was looking it over because these things are notorious for, like, coming unstitched, and sometimes I'll have to spend, like, 50 there's my baby. It's been like 15 minutes um, repairing it and it's just a pain in the booty. Like right here you can see there's um, a thread loose so 
what I have to do is tighten it, double knot it, and push it back through to resecure it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just these things are pretty popular right now. Uh, I'm getting near the end, guys. Here, I just I love selling belts. I love finding them at the bins, but these belts are only a dollar. At this location, it's a vintage hand tooled bohemian brown leather belt. I really love this. It's got a brass buckle. Um, it is marked on the inside Kmart. You know it's quality when it's Kmart and it's quality because it went downhill over the years. So I'm not sure what decade. It looks pretty old. I'm going to say 70s to 80s. But is this, I'm trying to think what flower that is. Is that cow lily or um, peace lily? Yeah. And then two more items. This I got for thread up. They price Pendleton really well, and I've sold quite a few of the Pendleton pieces. This is a not super modern, I'm going to say like probably from the 2000s. It's a very thin wool, lightweight, so this would be good to wear for spring, summer, and size 12, great size. Again, I paid $3 and some change for that. And then the last piece I got, I almost considered keeping for myself. This would be great for fall, but I think it's a small, yeah, this is a small and I probably need a medium or large, but really cute Aztec tribal print, like Southwestern style. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. It's like a berry, like a burgundy. It looks kind of more pink on here, but in a brown. This is by the brand David Paul New York. It is made in the USA of Italian fabrics. I went and got my nails done yesterday. I feel much better. <laughs> Last time I got my nails done, she got them way too short. My fingers look like sausages. <sighs> I went somewhere new and I shouldn't have. But here's my receipt for this location. So here I paid a total of $49 and 75 cents. So that, Ooh, yeah, I did pay too much. My goodness. I didn't realize blazers are $5 a piece. So I'll have to do the math and let you guys know how much I paid for each piece. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm probably not gonna be having as many hauls in the near future just because I have a baby at home and I'm still recovering, but I do have a thread up rescue box and a Goodwill blue box jewelry box that we'll be posting in the near future. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.